while statistically they may not be the best cavalry in the game, I think that the Chaos Knights with Lancers have a claim to being one of the best looking units in Warhammer. They look superb. So as you may have noticed, I'm playing as the Warriors of Chaos in this battle, and my opponent is playing as the Dwarfs. We'll get to them in a moment. So I'm bringing four Chaos Knights with Lancers. My Lord is Archaon the Ever Chosen. I also have two Marauder Horsemen with throwing axes. I have a mounted Chaos Sorcerer of Metal. And I have a front line of quite a few Chaos Marauders, very simple unit, and they are backed up by a few Chaos Knights with great weapons. And my opponent is going for a more ranged army, of course, as expected from the Dwarfs. He has two units of standard Gyrocopters over here. As for his mainline, he has a lot of organ guns, which is an interesting choice. He also has quite a few Thunderers. He's got some Longbeards. He also has four units of Slayers, which is not a bad idea when you know you're facing Chaos, because they could bring something like Dragon Ogre Shagoths, which you're going to need the Slayers for. He has two Runesmiths, which again is... For the Dwarfs, you're going to want the Runes, because in the, the Runes are very good. I learned that in the campaign as the Dwarfs. They are an excellent choice. And he also has a Lord in here somewhere. Where is his Lord? That's not his Lord, is it? No, that's a Runesmith. Where is his Lord? Well, he has a standard Dwarf Lord around here. There he is. Looking cool. So yeah, an interesting army. He's got a lot of range, as you'd expect, and... The Slayers are pretty good in this situation because the Slayers are not very heavily armoured and my best infantry is all armour-piercing and also most of my money went into cavalry and of course the Slayers are going to be pretty decent against them. So now we shall press play. Now the problem that I have here is I can't just sit back because otherwise his range, like his organ guns, are going to go to town on my cavalry or my infantry or both. And also his gyrocopters. I have no answer to that other than my marauder horsemen with throwing axes. And he can really easily run away from them because they don't have the best range. So I have to be very aggressive. My infantry needs to go in because I have the numbers advantage in terms of melee. Uh, if I sit back with my cavalry for too long and wait for my infantry, his range is going to utterly wreck my mounted contingent. And this is where all my money went. So I decide to be a little bit... Reckless, shall we say. And I charge in my knights in a frontal assault onto his units, and he actually did manage to break one of my Marauder Horsemen with throwing axes with his organ guns almost immediately. Oh yes, and he also does have a unit of Iron Drakes. So he has some very nasty, fairly close range melee, so it's going to be a pretty painful charge to undertake for my Chaos Knight, but they know what they signed on for. But he hasn't managed to pull them back quickly enough, so I am going to get a decent charge off, even if this unit here bears the brunt of an Iron Drake volley. And he is getting off a unit. I also managed to get the Burning Head off with Archaon. So this was a pretty decent charge, honestly. Despite being reckless, it did work out for the best in the end, because I have managed to get into his artillery. And this is buying the time that I need for my infantry to get into the fight. Now, Chaos Marauders are pretty garbage if we're honest. These Slayers are not in the right place. They should have been over protecting against the cavalry. He does have Longbeards and the Longbeards are going to be able to do a very good job against the Chaos Marauders but my Chaos Knights are going to be able to counteract them. The Slayers are really going to be the key for him and I over here I have my Chaos Horsemen with throwing axes but they are taking a lot of fire from the ranged contingent of the Dwarves. And here is our Chaos with his flaming sword charging into the back of these I think these are Thunderers Thunderers are going to be no match in melee for Archaon meanwhile back over here I did pull out my Chaos Knights and I'm going in for another assault and my plan here was to tie down his more limited infantry with mine and then just be able to charge around his back lines with my Chaos Knights and my Marauders are going to break pretty easily but my Knights will stay in the combat for a lot longer and they will do a lot better but over here the slayers are getting bogged down with marauders and that's not what he needs he needs his slayers killing my horseman meanwhile over here Archaon is really having his way with his range with the dwarf and ranged units over here on the other hand the artillery crews are going to be no match for chaos knights with their skulls and over here these Chaos Knights are in combat against the Lord, and again, this is not a particularly favourable engagement for the Lord and the Runesmith. 
They're going to be able to last quite a long time, but they need to be with the rest of their men, inspiring them against the continual, the continual charges from these Chaos Knights. Meanwhile, these Gyrocopters are getting a lot of kills, but there's not really a lot I can do about that. My Marauder Horsemen have used up pretty much all of their ammunition, but it's okay because they are standard Gyrocopters. If it was the variant with the Brimstone Guns, they would have been able to get a lot more done against my horses. And I don't really care if he kills my Marauders too much, or even my Chaos Warriors, to be honest. These Slayers are doing a pretty decent job in melee, if we're honest, because the great weapons of the Chaos Warriors are not really designed to take on lightly armored foes. And I did actually bring down a Plague of Rust over here with my Chaos Sorcerer of Metal who's also running around. So this will make the Longbeards a lot less effective than they already were against the Warriors with Great Weapons. Archaon on the other hand is still running around with his Burning Sword and there's my Chaos Sorcerer of Metal. I'm charging him around as well because I'm running low on Winds of Magic at this point. So the the Sorcerer, he won't do very well in melee, but Archaon is a real tank. Despite being classed as a spellcaster, he is quite clearly more suited for melee combat than a standard wizard. Meanwhile, over here my horses are still doing a decent job. We're almost finishing up these long beards. And over here we have yet more cycle charging. Chaos Knights with Lances. Chaos are an interesting faction to play. Oh, that was a like, fire ring. Interesting. I didn't notice that when I was fighting, but... Yeah, the Chaos, Chaos are an interesting faction to play. I don't really know what their best are. I would say that Monsters and Infantry is probably their focus, from what little I've played of them. But it seems like going Cavalry here actually did pay off despite the fact that their cavalry is kind of outclassed by quite a few other factions, especially the Empire and Bretonia. My units are continually breaking, but they are always coming back. And this is the key here. He's able to break my Marauders and my Warriors, but my Knights are really just having their way with his forces, and he is running low on melee forces. He didn't really bring enough. He brought too many organ guns, and I was able to kill them off pretty early on with my Knights. And... Despite his gyrocopters doing their best to kind of even the fight, I am slowly wearing him down. Meanwhile, over here, he is trying to get his ranged units away, because his thunderers still have ammunition, but I'm not going to let him get any volleys off. I'm going to continually break these guys, because the thunderers could turn this fight around again. They are a very, very effective unit. Meanwhile, over here, this is the central fight. Archaon and the Sorcerer of Metal are holding down these long beards while my ever-breaking forces are coming back to the fight. And over here we have the Chaos Knights. They're such a cool looking unit. Oh, Well the Gyrocopters have now run out of ammunition and they are going into melee against Chaos Knights and this is not effective. What he's trying to do is he's trying to prevent these guys from getting back into the fight and charging into his lord and killing him. Because losing his lord at this point would finish the dwarfs off completely. And you can see back there my returning troops. They are charging back towards the main fight, which is over here. And he was actually able to kill my Chaos Sorcerer. And this meant that Archaon was alone in a fight against Slayers and Longbeards. So I decided, you know, he might have been able to tank out that damage, honestly. But I decided, just for safety, to get him out of there and put him with the Chaos Knights. And finish off these Gyrocopters. And I decided to bring them over here so that they were back with my infantry. And a lot of my infantry is now returning, which means that I am very steadily getting the advantage more clearly in this fight. Especially seeing as a lot of my remaining infantry are the Chaos Warriors with great weapons. Meanwhile, these Gyrocopters are not going to win in a fight against my infantry, despite the fact they did do a decent job of charging into those Chaos Warriors. But they aren't going to get away from this. Meanwhile, I've got more Marauders over here. My trash. He is he has still got a runesmith alive, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. The runesmith will be able to get off some runes of negation, but it's not really gonna help when I can just keep my horses out of the fight and charge when the rune sort of abates. Over there there were some more thunderers which I charged into with my Chaos Knights. And this is the end.
he is indeed doomed. Where's our Kaon? There he is. The ever chosen victorious. There go the gyrocopters, and there we are, a Pyrrhic victory this time. So let's see where it went right for me. And the answer is, of course, the Chaos Knights. That initial charge, which was kind of reckless, it could very easily have backfired if he was a little bit more alert with his slayers. But ultimately, I was able to get all of my damage done there, and his organ guns. They got a few kills, but ultimately it wasn't nearly enough for what you would pay for organ guns. He went too heavy on range, I think. If he maybe sacrificed something like... Maybe a couple of these organ guns and got a few more long beards. I think he would have been able to weather the storm a little bit better. But ultimately it was my cavalry that won the day there, and I am very pleased with that. His slayers were a good pick, but I actually didn't notice he had four slayers during the battle. I knew he had some, but I didn't realise it was that many. He obviously just deployed them in the wrong place, which is a bit of a shame for him. Because they did get a lot of kills, but most of it was against my trashy Chaos Marauders. And they were... they alas were deployed to die. But yeah, I really, I really like the look of Chaos. Like they, they are one of the more difficult factions to get to grips with because they don't have the obvious strengths of something like the Empire, or Britonia, or even something like the Vampire Counts. But they do have options, and it's always fun to have our Chaos summon his fire magic. And here the dwarfs were defeated. I also would have brought one of the dwarf and legendary lords, or a rune lord even. I think the rune lord would have probably been the best choice. Or Thorgrim. One of the two. But yes, I'm happy with that victory, and I hope we'll... Well, hopefully I will be doing a bit more Reforged stuff soon. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I want to be able to get back into uploading stuff daily again, but life has got in the way recently, so I hope to see you for whatever comes next.